from New York to Texas to Minnesota to Tacoma, Washington. The final words of far too many have been, I can't breathe. On March 3rd, 2020, Manuel Ellis was feeling good about his life. He had played the drums in his church choir, something that he did three times a week. He had talked to his mother, told her how much he loved her, told her how wonderful church was that day hung up the phone and then decided to go get some snacks from a local corner store. And as he was walking home from that local corner store, officers for no actual apparent reason approached him in a car. They called him over. He walked on over. After a brief conversation, one officer immediately took his door and slammed it against Manuel Ellis, throwing him to the ground. After he was on the ground, the other officer came around and started to hit and punch him as well. Manuel Ellis, at some point, his arms were up in the air as a sign of, I'm not trying to do you any harm. And at the same time, his arms were up in the air like this. An officer's arms were wrapped around his neck and a taser was pointed at his chest. One shot, two shot. A person behind that police car actually screamed, oh no, stop, stop, just arrest him. The officers just kept doing what they did. One hit, two hit, three hit, tase, choke. We now know that eventually he was hogtied, meaning his hands were cuffed to his feet and he was left on his stomach. And as he was saying, I can't breathe, sir, they further restricted his air after having choked and tased him by putting a spit mask over his head. As the officers heard him say, I can't breathe, sir, their response was shut the fuck up. Manuel Ellis died on that street corner. But after these officers participated in his murder, they sought to cover it up. They sought to redefine what happened. And they almost got away with it. They made claims of excited delirium. They said he had attacked their car and their vehicle. He said They said that he had lifted them up and thrown them to the ground. They disseminated those claims to newspapers. To any media that would actually listen. It took three months to figure out some amount of the truth. Some amount of the truth. You see, the entity that actually was in charge of investigating what happened on that day was the Pierce County Sheriff's Office, a neighbor to the Tacoma Police Department. These two departments conspired there's no other way to put it. Conspired to cover up what occurred and misrepresented what happened on that fateful night. Thankfully, due to dedicated social justice activists, attorneys that care, and Manuel Ellis's baby sister, we were able to locate three independent witnesses, and each one of those witnesses made it clear that Manuel Ellis had done nothing wrong on that day. We were able to locate three separate independent videos, and each video showed exactly what those officers did. 
And that's when we started to demand an independent investigation in the state of Washington because we absolutely knew, absolutely knew that if this investigation was left to local jurisdictions, justice would not prevail. The state of Washington did take on the investigation after several months of a cover-up by the Tacoma Police Department and the Pierce County Sheriff's Office. And while we learned much more in terms of information, including that Manuel Ellis was actually hogtied and that Pierce County Sheriff's had authentically participated in his murder as well, the state of Washington needs to go further. All cases in the state of Washington involving police actions that kill other human beings need to be investigated by an independent agency. That independent agency should have full subpoena power. That independent agency should have absolute access to all police records. That independent agency should be the agency that actually prosecutes officers in the event that the actions are chargeable. In Manuel Lellis's case, if these officers were civilians, they would have been charged with homicide already. It is hard to fathom why there would be such a remarkable delay it's almost as if the powers that be are trying to find any reason possible to not file charges. The ultimate truth is that when you have three independent witnesses and you have three separate videos and you have a medical examiner that calls this homicide, murder charges should be filed. Black Lives Matter. 